Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your boy, Denzel. Yes, I know. I haven't did a video in a while, and I'm sorry. But at the same time, graduation is like literally one week away, and I am so excited, and I've just been literally caught up with so much stuff going on um, between work and literally just trying to graduate. Like, well, technically, I'm already ready to graduate because... I finished at the beginning of this month, and now it's just like, just really the countdown just happening right now. But um, literally, it's just been just such a busy time within the last couple of weeks, and really just trying to get things in order as I begin the next chapter of my life. But um, yeah, so I'm back here with another video. The reason why I'm standing up in front of my door is because the area that I would normally record at, my mom kind of took over. And I don't want you all to see all that. So, yeah, there's that. But make sure you guys hit that like button, hit subscribe, share this video, and let's get into it. <laughs> So I'm like literally trying to, I was literally trying to figure out like what type of content do I want to post for everyone and try to figure out like, you know, what can this new video be? And I have no idea. <laughs> but the one thing I definitely would like to talk about though is just kind of like this whole idea of, you know, your self-worth. Um, this is actually a recent conversation I had with one of my colleagues and really underestimating my own self-worth and what it is I'm capable of doing. Like I literally been minimizing the level of capacity that I have and lessening the worth of what it is that I have. Um, what I basically mean is that I was in a council meeting and one of the things that we we're trying to do is try to find somebody full time to continue doing DEI work, for those that don't know what DEI is, is Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, um, which is basically the type of council I'm on. And literally, I was going to like type in the chat, I was like, hey, you know, throw my name in the basket because I love this work and the work I want to be able to continue to do. So that was like one of the things I was going to um, share, but then it was just like, I'm like, no, I can't do that. Like, I don't have all the right experience, like, I don't have certifications, I don't have the degree, yada, 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 like, basically downplay myself, and literally what my colleague told me was just like, you know, you gotta get yourself out of your head, and, like, I've been in my head, even, like, when it seems, like, apply, like applying to full-time jobs, like, I look at the job description, I look at what's required, and it's just like, I tell myself I can't do it because I don't have the experience, Literally, I'm about to be a whole master's student in literally a week. And I am minimizing what it is I'm able to do and all the work that is I've done throughout the three years that I've been doing my master's. Like, I have the worth. But I need to start seeing the worth in myself. So, literally, I feel like this video is more of an encouragement to everyone. And it's going to be a very short video because I don't want to just ramble. But, literally, don't play yourself we stop ourselves from getting to success we stop ourselves from seeing the best in our in ourselves and what i like to encourage you i want to give you guys three tips number one is know your worth don't let anybody tell you what your worth is because you should already know what your worth is that goes for how much you get paid, the jobs that you do, know your own worth. Number two, keep a tight-knit circle that will continue to encourage you and remind you what your worth is. Because again, the only person that can stop you is you yourself. Nobody else can. And number three, just go ahead and do it. <laughs> Literally, just go ahead and do it. We got to keep our heads up. We got to keep it going and know our worth. So, I mean, again, I want to keep this short because I really didn't have an idea of what to really do. But, yeah. So, know your worth, y'all. And, again, I'm sorry for the delay. 
but I got I have some amazing stuff that's going to be happening um, during. And actually, this is the first month of May, so really quick, I want to shout out to all my Asian brothers and sisters. Um, happy Asian and Pacific Islander History Month. Um, celebrate you, celebrate your culture, and definitely, if you have friends that are identified as being Asian, Asian American, in the Pacific Islands, so on and so forth, um, take a moment and learn about them, explore their culture, don't, um, what, well, um, uh, words, <laughs> but, um, let's cancel that out, but yeah, so happy Asian Pacific Islander month, um, and to all you guys, again, know your worth, so, short video, as I said before, but, again, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your post notification, follow me on all my social media, all that will be linked down in the description box below, and I will see you next time. Bye. Oh, also, uh, very fun things are going to be happening within the next couple of months. So we're going to have some travel vlogs. So I have three trips that are coming up. One, one this month in May, one in June, and one in July. So we're going to be doing some travel vlogs. So make sure you stay tuned in for that. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.